Guys, welcome back to my rants. Rants, plenty of good information, a little bit of motivation, a whole lot of truth, no financial advice. I gave it a day. I was still waiting for Bed Bath & Beyond to bounce back from what it was. If it was really bullish and it was really moving and it was just a fake news story, you would think they would have recovered some today. But no, it ended down uh, 30 cents flat, which is worth exactly that, if not less. And uh, shout out to all the guys last night on the PP show. If you guys saw, it was me versus seven or eight of them, however many ended up showing up. Uh, it really didn't matter because the, before I went on, they literally were saying, let them in here so we can shit on them. Let them in here so we can tear them apart. And uh, all the words they want to use, and guess what happened? They all went silent. That's right. Beyond Uranus, uh, what's that guy's name? I can't remember his name. His name is like something like Realize. I think he realized he was wrong, and he kept trying to deflect to other subjects and other things instead of staying on task, which is Sue Gove has direct ties to Apollo. Um, <laughs> but it's... It's really that laughable. Uh, Zoo Gove worked for Zells. Apollo owned Zells. Apollo put two people in charge uh, in succession as CEOs. Once the female CEO got in charge, her name was Beryl Rath. Go ahead and do your homework. She's the one that convinced the ladies to get into private equity without a doubt. And uh, what did they do? They went over to Vitamin World, and it was two of them. It was Vicky McGuire and her and Sue Gove, and they ran that one. And Vitamin World, if you guys don't know, that is uh, Apollo owned at the time, along with the uh, under Nature's Bounty, and that's because of the GNC connection via Apollo as well that they owned. So she was there. Uh, we know all the direct ties across the board for every other company she's ever touched. That's why Apollo picked her for Fresh Market. That's why they picked her for Iconic Brands and for Tailored Brands, and all those ties. Who owns the debt for all those companies? Why have they gone bankrupt? Well, you know why. So I try to tell you these things, but people they try not to listen. It's okay. Um, and now you're here at Bed Bath & Beyond and you're wondering why private equity has swept in and taken total control of Bed Bath & Beyond's board, the decisions they make, and why the debt will be serviced via you guys, the public, who keeps buying shares and not listening. But there's some guys out there in, in Never Never Land, that's what I call it, the PP Seeds channel, uh, that have fairy tales about the way this is all going to end. Well, unfortunately, that's not going to work out that way. Uh, I told you guys that months ago. I'll tell you that today. And, of course, the Wall Street Journal prints it, so you can't believe it, right? But yet you guys were telling me to read the Wall Street Journal just a week ago for any quotes from Kais Malej and from you copy. But i just tell you right now, a dead cat, that's exactly what bounced. It was a dead cat. But uh, as far as what the stock is worth and where it's headed, to the grave. So, bet, bet, bet to be on, you know, what you're, you know what you're going up against. So, I'm happy for you guys. Enjoy your day. Nobody could, re you know, come back with anything. I was, wait I was waiting to get torn apart. I was waiting to get killed. Go watch the clip, guys. It's absolutely hilarious. And uh, I love the part where I call them numb nuts. All seven of them at once. They can't say shit, really. And shout out to Roach. Roach, appreciate you, bro. Still in my DD. Um, it's okay, though, because it actually enlightened you and educated you, obviously. And that's why you're making the choice decision to sell your shares like you did yesterday. And that's good, because you know the board of directors are terrible. And they're not doing the right thing for the company. Everyone else, guys, when you guys want to wake up on this side of the table and realize that you're wrong... I'll still be here. And as far as ABC goes, bro, hey, ABC, I know a good divorce lawyer. Peace, punk.